All right, so I'm really thirsty, but I also need some food, and I'm gonna teach you how to hunt, skin, and cook animals. Now, the first thing you need to do when hunting is look for a pretty large field. That's what cows usually like to graze. I'm gonna check up here, see if I can find anything. See some power lines up there. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, right there, I'm dying of dehydration. Really need some water. Oops, I got into my inventory. I got just a little bit of water. Can't do much right there. Need to find some water fast. That won't hold me over for long. Let's see if there's anything out here. Oh, did you see that? Oh, cow up ahead. Let's see if I can track it and kill it. Really like some beef. Oh, see, we got a we got one right over there. Right over there. Running from what though? Let's see if I can kill it. Pretty hard to see with this stanky scope. Alright, I gotta take it off. I forget it, I don't need it. See, it's still all the way over there. I might be able to get close enough to see it. Still grazing. Probably think it's safe. You want to approach it carefully, and it's starting to move again. Maybe he knows I'm onto him. Oh, we got another one over here. Let's see if I can take him out. Shock. Come on, steady. Steady. Got it. Now that's the kind of aiming you need. Now, there might be zombies or other survivors in the area, so I need to get in, skin them, take his stuff, and get out. Get that meat. What do I have here? I already got lots of meat. That's a good thing though. I got a nice fucking used to, to gut and skin him. Use that. It also helps on hunting to be a great shot. Yeah, the cow got lucky. Skin and quarter the body. You just take the knife, slice it open, try not to go too deep where you damage the tissue too much to try to slip, try to go past the skin. Alright. And we got some steaks. Nothing too special. Um, that's not high quality. Not high quality. Yeah, a lot of these steaks aren't high quality. We got some goats that I can't use so much. Animal lard. Nah, I'm not fat. You gotta remember to... No, you don't want bones either. You gotta remember to not eat too much fat in the apocalypse. Um... I am pretty set on food here. Unless I have some... Okay, I have some extra space in this particular case. I'm dying of dehydration again. So, let me just take a couple of steaks. Yeah, that should be good. Alright. Now, let's go somewhere more private, where I won't be bothered by any zombies or any survivors trying to get what I got and what they want. Now, where would be a good place to do that? I think back over here. Saw, saw something over here. Deer stand or something. 
probably be most helpful. Oh, great deal. <laughs> Some rain. Fantastic. This is actually not a bad thing. See, what I can do is have some rain with this so I won't die of no dehydration. No, not today. Not today. But what I'll do is catch some rain in my canteen and I'll drink it and not die of thirst. Now that's a good thing to do. nice rainwater. Hopefully I can get out and up here so I won't be dying of dehydration anymore. As long as you survive, you were successful. Just remember that in the apocalypse. As long as you survive, you are alright. You are successful. You are good. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm glad I finally got something going. Still not enough to catch some more rain. We'll see what happens. Then. We'll see what happens when I catch enough rain. Very tedious work of some sort. I really wish it, I could just take all the rain and put it in my bottle and drink it, but that's not an option. Got to catch it and drink it by little bits that it comes down. That should hold me over for a little bit while I get the fire started. I think over here would be a nice, decent place. I still got, still see around me. I got the light covered by the trees. Look at this water in here. Don't want to put it too close to the any of this here. I think right here would be a nice place. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the fire started. Uh, I think I need to chop down some kindling. I don't want to I don't want to chop down my cover, so I'm going to chop up some of these bushes over here. There we go. Chop it down. Turns out I already got some sticks, but never had too many sticks. Unless you know you can't fit anymore. <laughs> All right. So next next task at hand. Sit down right here. And what you want to do to make a fireplace is obviously you should put the sticks like TP toward the center and pair it with some rag so the fire can catch or bandages, but bandages should be used for bandaging. Let's go ahead and craft this fireplace kit. Alright, there we are. Look at that somewhat of a small beauty. Doesn't seem like much now, but oh, it's perfect. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you got enough sticks. So, right here, put a five sticks in there. And obviously, you're going to need some matches. Matches is a Obviously, a very important part of actually getting a fire started. Where did I put those matches? Freezing out here. Oh, that's just fake. Where did I put those? Ah, they must be in here. Exactly, they are. Alright, I'm just gonna get those out. I need to ignite it. We like the rags that's under the sticks. The rag will catch on fire. The fire will spread to the sticks. And then you should be good. Oh, let's see if this works. Come on. There we are. There's a beauty. Keep you warm. And you can cook. Now that we've skinned it, 
Joe didn't skin the animal. Let's get our tripod out. Because obviously it's going to be important to put that over the fire. Like so. Let's get out our pot. Yes. Cold. But this fire's heating me up pretty good. Alright. So I'm gonna cook some steaks and then I won't be starving at least. Alright. I'm gonna put some beef cow steaks. Some real good things right there. Oh, thank God I put this boy underneath the tree. Yeah, cover it from the rain, at least a little bit. Uh, take the pot. What we do is put it there. We hang it like so. And let the steak cook. Oh, now it's going to take a while. So. What I'm going to do is take my canteen, try to go out and get some more rain while it cooks. Don't, you don't want to leave it unattended, don't leave it too far, because otherwise you might burn them steaks and we worked really hard to get them. <sighs> so cold. Never thought I'd love rain water so much. Never thought I'd love rain so much. But oh my god. Can't get too much of water in the apocalypse. <laughs> anyway, tell you otherwise, most likely gonna die soon. Alright, we're running out of rain. I better get to my get back over to that fire. Hope it's not spreading anywhere. Yeah, it's good, it's fine. <sighs> Let's see how our steaks are doing. Don't get too close to the fire. You don't wanna. Yeah, slow some air to the fireplace. If you do that, then. Oh crap, I'm running out of wood. Always keep feeding the fire with the wood and air. When you blow air into it, what you're doing is you're giving the fire oxygen. fire obviously needs oxygen. Otherwise, you know, it doesn't burn. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Okay, they're definitely hot. They're definitely cooking. And my rifle. Make sure no one's following us. too quickly. Okay, there. Now we have steaks, as you can see. Fully cooked steaks. Take them out. And that we're done with that. We can start putting the gear away. Oh no, they're getting burned. See? Gotta watch out for that. I may have wasted these steaks. Oh, uh, no. Just a little overdone. Still edible. Now what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to see, hmm, I don't think I can extinguish this flame, might as well try, yeah I don't have enough water, just going to have to let it burn out, <sighs> don't give it, yeah, you have to let it burn out, could put some dirt on it, Quite a little too much work. 
I don't have time to be doing that. I'm gonna move some stuff around. Alright, see it's out of stick though, it should be bending down in its own. See. Alright, we should be good. That's pretty much what you gotta do. Careful for that cooking pot putting it back, because it's gonna be hot. Take the tripod down. Go ahead and put that back in your backpack. Alright, now let's taste one of these juicy steaks. Actually, I might keep this fire running for a little longer. You know? It's keeping me warm and stupid bugs. Away. So and the other one. I like mine a little cooked, if you know what I mean. Yeah, be sure to not eat the raw ones. Raw ones are obviously bad for you. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was good. I think I'm gonna have another. That was, that was too good. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat another. All right. No bone either. Very good. Alright, so I'm energized. I've eaten enough. I'm gonna let this fireplace burn out. <sighs> Just gonna sit here and relax. Been doing this crap all day. Alright. I'll see you in the next survivor tip.